Yun. Jungkook chases Yun as she is giggling and runs. She takes a turn in basketball area. Yun, stop! He said as he was getting breathless. He stopped putting his hands on his knees and he took long breaths. He looked at Yun who is still running. Yun stopped when she looked behind her and Jungkook was nowhere to be seen. She catch her breath for a moment. She took a deep breath and straightened herself and froze when she looked in front of her. He is standing in front of her folding his hands on his chest with his raised eyebrow. Yun lightly screamed and was about to turn around when Jungkook grabbed her tightly and turns her around. She struggled in his grip. Look, Jungkook, I'm sorry. Oh, really? You are sorry? Yes, please. This will be the last time. You are saying this from the start. I always slept and forget to write this assignment, please. Same excuse, you forget I know you better than your parents and you forget that I live with you. Yun scrunches her nose and she looks at Jungkook. That's not fair. Why don't you make your own? You know I am lazy and why I waste my time when I have you. She said and this time Jungkook scrunched his nose. Yun is making puppy eyes and eventually he gave up. He can't resist this. Jungkook and Yun are best friends for 3 years and basically live in the same apartment. They were childhood neighbors in Busan and of the same age. When they completed their college, they both applied for Seoul University. And fortunately, they got selected. They were just neighbors and friends, not best friends. But when they got selected, they left Seoul together and started living together. Completing their degree, Yun is studying science and Jungkook is studying engineering. But Jungkook hates her one habit that she doesn't complete her assignment and always copy from him. Kim Yun, get here. We are going to get late for class. Both of you were startled by her sudden yelling. Yun looked at Jenny, her friend. She was grinning and you know why. Yun glared at her and turned around towards Jungkook. Um, please, can I copy them? Okay, fine, but this will be the last time. Yun skulls in happiness and kisses his cheeks, not knowing the other one is froze in his place from her sudden action. Thank you, Jungkook. You are the best, but this will not be the last time. Jungkook came out of his trance when she said the last words and looked at his best friend, who grabbed her friend's hand and ran away from there. Kim Yun. Jungkook smiled and shook his head. She will never wanna change. What should I do with this girl? Girl, eat slowly. No one going to take your food away. I eat like this. Any problem? Not really. Until you choke on your food and die. Yun rolls her eyes and continues eating. Why was Jungkook chasing you? You tell me. You copied his assignment again? Yeah, I'm lazy to make assignments. Yun said, Jungkook is good in his studies, almost top 10, and Yun is an average student, yet she passed exam with good grades. What's your plan after completing your degree? Nothing special, I just want to explore the world and enjoy my life. I thought you were going to say I want to do the job and I want to marry. Nah, why would I marry when I can enjoy my life alone or with my friends? Why don't you date? Everyone wants to have a chance with you. And I'm not interested. Why? You're beautiful. This is not about beautiful. I don't want to waste my time. Love is beautiful feeling, Yun. Once you fall in love, stop right there. Don't start again. Look at me and Jack. We are so happy together. You find your love doesn't mean everyone can. I want to enjoy my life first. We will see about that. Wait until you fall in love. Whatever, I'm not interested yet. Jenny shook her head. Everyone at her age want to experience love and look at her. Yun, pass me the packet of chips. You have two hands, right? Jungkook looked at her when she asked the sudden question. Yes. Then use it. She is back and Jungkook rolled his eyes moving forward and grabbing the packet of chips. They are sitting in the lounge watching a movie. But before grabbing it, he nudged her and she glared at him. After the movie was completed, Yun was yawning. Did you complete your assignments? No, seriously, Yun, I will not be everywhere with you. 
then I will drag you everywhere with me. Ha, your wish. Yun lazily walked towards them and dropped her body down in bed. Jungkook knocks on the door aggressively but no one answered. Yun opened the door. No response, having no choice. She kicked the door open and groaned. For the love of God. Yun was sleeping peacefully on her bed without a care in the world. Jungkook almost wanted to throw a vest at her. She is deep sleeper. Even if the world is on the edge of destruction, she will not wake up. Jungkook jumped on her sleeping body and started tickling her. Yun snapped her eyes open laughing at almost a night. Stop and get off me. Jun Jungkook asked sir if you didn't stop right now I will lock you up in the room. Jungkook stopped and looked at her with wide eyes and get up from her. Okay I was kidding no need to be serious. Jungkook knows if she said she will do it. Once he snatched her sandwich at midnight when she was hungry and she threatened him to smack his head with a fry pan. He didn't listen to her. And she really smacked him in the head with that damn fry pan, not so harshly, but he surely saw stars in broad daylight. Why are you waking me up? She said, closing her eyes again. You forget we were, you forget we were going to our parents' house. Yuna's eyes snapped open. Oh shit, she forget. Okay, I'm up now. Get out so I can get ready. You better get ready. If you sleep again when I come back, then then what will you do? Yun said with a straight face and Jungkook heard. Nothing, he said. He smiled nervously and ran out. Yun hears it when someone disturbs her precious sleep. After a while, they both got ready and left for sale. They didn't visit their parents for more than 8 months and they wanted to surprise them. Yeah, they took holidays for that. After hours of driving, they finally reached Busan, their hometown. Jungkook and Yun look at each other excitedly as they park cars. They both walked over in front of their house after giving each other a nod and rang the bell. Yun stand in front of waiting for someone to open the door and when it did her mom came into the view. Her mom's eyes widened and smiled and her mission accomplished in surprising her. She hugged her tightly on the other hand Jungkook greeted her parents. We miss you so much you came after so long. We just met 8 months ago. 8 months? Maybe short for you but we missed our daughter. After completing my degree, I'm sure I'm going to spend my time with you. How's your study going? Good, you know I'm so intelligent. Like we don't know you. Yun hugs as she looks at her mother. Why does everyone know me so well? I know my daughter is intelligent. I love you, dad. How's Jungkook doing? Perfectly fine. Mrs. Kim is smiling looking at her daughter. Her eyes lit up talking about Jungkook. Yun was looking at the ceiling. Sleep was nowhere in her eyes. She can't sleep because of the change of place. She hurt as she sat up and sliced the curtain from the window. She looked straight and her face lit up when Jungkook was also on the balcony. Yun waved towards him and he smiled and pointed down to meet him outside. Yun nodded grabbing her coat and wearing shoes. She came out of the room. Why are you up this late? Couldn't sleep. You? Same. What was your parents reaction? They were surprised and I loved that look. And yours? My mom pulled my cheeks and pinched my nose. Yun chuckled. His mom always does this and Jungkook smiled meeting with their parents after so long. So where are we going? Let's go to the Ajumar restaurant. Or it is? Yeah. Yun smiled as they made their way to the restaurant. It was not a restaurant but a small place. But she opened her place until 4 am and she made everything so delicious. They finally entered inside the restaurant. The bell on the door dings when the door opened. Oh my god, look at you kids, grown so much. We missed you and your food so much. Oh kids, go and sit there, I will make something special for you. They smiled as they greeted her family. They were surprised that she remembered them. After some time, they started eating when she served them food. So kids, you are so kids, you are finally together. She said and she made her way towards the kitchen. You chopped on the food. No, no, we are just best friends. Oh well, you two would be beautiful couple. Yun was about to say something when Jungkook put his hand on her. She looked at him. Thank you. Jungkook nodded his head and they started eating again. I really love time spending with you. Why don't you come more often? We just came to visit our parents and we have to go back. Oh, we should leave now.
He said and Yunar Jungkook walked to her in respect. She smiled and they left. After spending one more day, they left on Sunday evening. Yun Yun! Yun grunted at his constant yelling as she put her pillow on her face. Yun, I'm going to throw you out of this building if you didn't wake up. What is your problem? Why are you yelling at me? We are going to get late for university. Can we take a leave for one more day? Yun, we already took leave for three days because your dead grandma died again. Yun sat up on the bed. They said that Yun grandma died and we have to leave the city. Surprisingly, the principal gave them leave. Sorry, grandma. Okay, I'm up. Make breakfast for me. I'm coming. No time for breakfast. We will eat in the cafeteria now. Go. Now Yun roll her eyebrow as she tired from all the traveling and they have to go to university. Why are you so sleepy? Jenny shake her when Yun was constantly sleeping in every class. Don't disturb me. Let me sleep. Jenny shook her head as Yun continued sleeping. Before break, Yun and Jungkook class was together. Jungkook sat beside Yun and chuckled when he looked at her sleepy face. He a sleepy head. The teacher enters and everyone falls silent. Start submitting your assignment. Everyone not here submit their assignment. I'm too lazy to change words. Jungkook rolled his eyebrow and Yun put her head on the table again sleeping. Yun walked towards the cafeteria and sat down. There after buying their food, when will you ask her out? Yun asked annoyed as Jungkook was staring at the girl far from her table, laughing with her friends. I don't know. Okay, then I should do something. She said she was about to stand up when Jungkook grabbed her hand and pulled her down under the chair. No way. What now? Any time. How much? What if she rejects me? Come on, no one going to reject you. And why? Look at yourself. If they reject you, it's their loss. Why are you indirectly calling me handsome, like you don't know? In his clothes, continue drinking her juice. The amount of time you call me flamingo and coconut head, I start doubting myself. Yun, Yun rolls her eyebrow and smiles lightly. You know I joke around with you. Jungle smile and then and then look at her crush. You both were sitting on the lounge and Yun was watching her favorite TV show while Jungkook was using his mobile. Jungkook phone rang and he picked up the call. Words up, Jimin? Where are you? At home. Why? Get ready and reach at this club. Why so sudden? We all are going to the party. All my classmates are coming. You can come with Yun. Okay, he said and hung up. Jungkook looked at Yun. Yun? Hmm. Everyone is going to the party. So, they invited us too. Us? I'm not going anywhere. Yun, come on please for me. Why? Maybe Somi is coming there too? Maybe. Please, please, Yun, this is my chance. Urgh, for you, okay? Jungkook nodded happily and Yun sighed as walked up to her room. After a while, Jungkook gets ready and Yun came out of her room. Jungkook continued... Jungkook stopped and looked at her and he smiled. She is pretty. She looks pretty in everything. What? Yun looked at him weirdly as he look, as he smiled looking at her. Nothing. You are looking pretty. Her cheeks heat up at a certain compliment but she shrugged it off. Thank you. You are looking good too. This is the first time Yun phrased him. And she don't know why. All of a sudden she blushed. That's never happened before. Let's go. If you didn't go to her this instant, I'm not going to give you food for a whole week. Yun was trying to convince Jungkook to go and ask her out and her patience is running out. Will you stop threatening me every damn time or will you stop being a coward for once? Jungkook rolled his eyes and looked at Xiaomi who was shining at the party. Okay, I can do this. Yes, you can. Now go and take a deep breath. Jungkook nodded and walked towards her. Yun looked at him and then turned towards the bartender to order something. Hey Yun. Hi Taehyung. Are you enjoying the party? Yeah, pretty much. Do you want me to order something for you? No, I already ordered. Where is Jungkook? Oh, him? He is trying to ask her crush out. Crush? Saw me? He didn't tell you? No, I thought he loves you. Yun, Yun flinched when she was twirling in the air. Yun, Jungkook, put me down. Yun, I'm so happy she said yes. Oh my god, finally my kid is not single anymore. Yun wiped her non-existent tears and then looked at the interaction. He smiled at them. They enjoyed the rest of the night. Yeah, Jungkook, will you stop texting your girlfriend? Why is your single ass jealous? I'm not jealous, idiot, but play a game with me. I'm getting bored. Okay, okay, I have to tell you something. Which is, Somi wants to come home. Already? Yeah, she wants to see my place. Okay, when? This Sunday? Okay, I will make everything for you as. Yeah, Yun, thank you. You're the best. Okay, enough word. Now play a game with me. Okay, when they start playing, 
slapping each other and cursing at each other when one character died in the game and they spent their time together. As the day passes, Sunday comes quickly and here Jungkook is standing in front of his wardrobe to decide to what to wear. Yun! Jungkook yells and Yun enters his room angrily. Now what happened? Yun help me, I don't know what to wear. He said almost crying and Yun rolled her eyes. Stop being a baby, you are not going to a wedding, wear something simple. Come on, you know, it's kinda date. I don't know why she wants to come home in the first place. Please, please help me. Yun walked towards his closet and started searching for his outfit for his so-called date. Will you not panic so much? Yun, I don't know, but you know, I don't want to talk to girls that too much. Yun raised her eyebrow at his statement, other than you. You nodded her head and she waited for her so-called girlfriend. Everything is ready? Yeah. You didn't get ready yet? Oh no, I'm not coming out of my room. No, Yun, you need to meet her. Why would I meet her? She is coming for you. But I kinda told her that you live with me. You did what? She throws pillow at him and he covers himself with his hand. Yoon Jungkook, you have one work now, I have to get ready. Please Yoon for me. Yoon wanted to throw him literally out of the window right now. She made everything and she wants to get rest, but now she has to change her cloth. The bell rang when Yoon changed her clothes and was standing in the kitchen. Yoon, don't panic, relax, she is not going to eat you alive. Okay. In control her laugh as he took a deep breath. Jungkook opened the door and invited her in. She kissed his cheeks and you stand there looking at their interaction awkwardly. Don't want to be here. So my eyes fell on you and you greeted him. Hi. Hey. Jungkook told me you live with him. Yeah. You said you said awkwardly the tension in the air rising for Jungkook spoke. Come, let's sit first. After some time, Yun walked towards her room and spent the rest of the time in there. How was your date? Oh, it was good. She is so sweet. Damn. Really? Yeah. Good for you then. She smiled but she felt different. She didn't put thoughts on that. She is generally happy for Jungkook. He looks so happy. Yun walked with Jungkook to the university. Let's go to the cafeteria. Jungkook, they heard Somi voice. Jungkook turned around and he smiled. She smiled wildly as they hugged each other, but her smile faded when she looked at him. When she looked at me. But soon she smiled again and took her hand for a handshake. Yun smiled but she noticed the change in her expression. Did she not like me? Jungkook let go to the cafeteria. Oh yeah, we were going there too. Come with us. She is coming with us too. You look at her surprise. Jungkook may not have noticed but Yun saw the change in her tone. Yeah. Oh, she didn't say anything and now you feel awkward around them. It's not Jungkook but you feel like a third wheel. She didn't feel right. Mm, Jungkook? Yes, you both go have class to attend. But you said you don't have any. I just remember it. Jenny must be waiting for me. But okay, bye. Light. Obviously, you couldn't stand this awkward tension and feeling like a third beat. You prefer to be alone. Yun walked aimlessly around the class. It was her free time and she wanted to spend it with Jungkook. Yun, hmm. What happened to you? Nothing. Where is Jungkook? With her girlfriend. Oh, so why are you so dull? I'm not. Yun, are you okay? Yes, why did you ask? If I ask one question, will you answer it honestly? Okay, do you like Jungkook? Yes, of course, he is my best friend. I didn't mean like that, like romantically. What? No, I don't. He is my best friend, nothing more. But your face say otherwise. You are just overthinking. I hope so. You didn't put much thought on her words and kept walking. As day passed, Yoon observed Somi's behavior. Whenever Jungkook was with Yoon, Somi always came between them. For a few days, you ignored it until you heard her loud and clear without a doubt. So they live together too? 
Yes, she does. I hate her. She always stick around with her. I'm like a girl. She looks like her girlfriend, not me. So what do you plan on doing? I don't know if they're best friend, but if but it always look like they are more than that, and I hate it. So do something before she snatch your boyfriend. What should I do? I don't want her to be near Jungkook. And Yoon walked away from there, so that's why she didn't like you. Somi is jealous of you and Jungkook is happy with her girlfriend. Even though you spent so much time together, you should keep your distance from him. Maybe then their relationship doesn't affect because of you. And Jungkook is looking for you. Where? In the library. Okay, bye. Yoon walked towards the library and looked around for Jungkook, but he was nowhere to be seen. Yoon sighed and she walked towards one of the shelves searching for a good book or a novel, whatever she found. What do you mean I should leave her? Yun stiffened in her place when she heard the familiar voice. She looked through the books. She was hidden behind the bookshelf. You are always with her every damn time. When I want to spend my time with you, you call her. So what do you want me to do? Leave her. Yun heart clenched and Jungkook froze in his spot. I can't leave her. We live together. Then move out. Sumi, what are you saying? Okay. So listen. I'm your girlfriend. I don't like when you give her attention and spend time with her other than me. We should drop this topic, Sami. Yun is going to be here anytime. Yun girl not wanting to hear anything more. She left from there and luckily no one saw her. You need to distance yourself from him for Jungkook for his happiness. When we passed and Yun started avoiding Jungkook, no matter even if it hurts her, she did it for his happiness. Finally he found someone so you don't want her so you don't want your best friend to get hurt. He is your best friend, right? So why it's hurting you? You should happy, right? Then why? These questions were in her mind and she couldn't sleep, she couldn't focus on her study. She is blank. She is physically present but not mentally. She is not thinking anything, just blank. Yun, come on, we didn't hang out for so long. Jungkook, I'm not feeling well. But you don't stay at home even if you're not. Let's go out, okay? Take a fresh air, you will start feeling well. Jungle said hopefully and try not to sound annoyed but he is insisting on you for the past 15 minutes and now you are losing your patience. I don't want to go anywhere. But why you are acting strange and saw me, please tell me. I'm not acting strange, why would I act strange to you because of your girlfriend? If you are happy then happy too. Why does it feel like she is not asking him but asking herself, telling herself there is no reason to get jealous of her own best friend, girlfriend. That, that's what I am asking to tell me what's bothering you. Jungkook, please leave this topic. You are overthinking. I'm not overthinking, Yoon. I know you. I can tell by looking at your face that you are not feeling well and that you are lying to me. Why did I do something? Yoon, didn't Jungkook. I don't know. Jungkook took his hand on her and Yoon tear up. He doesn't know why she is feeling like this. Jenny words start ringing in her mind. If you don't love him, then why is it hurting you to see him like with another girl? I don't know why I'm feeling like this. I was okay when I wanted to set him up with Somi, but I don't know what happened now. From when you are feeling like this, when Somi started to take that place, when his attention diverted from me, when Somi told Jungle to leave me or move out, I never thought about it. I didn't know it would hurt like this. You love him. I don't. You are trying to tell yourself that your heart knows what you want. Please leave me alone. You are just hurting yourself now. Please tell me what's wrong. We both will find a solution. Please, Jungkook. I... Jungkook phone rings and Yun gulps back her tear. He'd, he'd look at his phone and saw that your eyes fell on his phone. Caller ID was Tommy. Yun is called. Whom she is kidding. He loves Tommy. He only see me as a friend as he should. Your Jungkook turned his phone off. We look at him confused. Why didn't you pick up the call? We can talk later, but I want to spend time with you. She will get angry. You are important to me more than anything. No, you can't choose your best friend over your girlfriend. I can and I just did, okay? Just tell me what's bothering you. Jungkook, leave. His phone rang again and now you get angry. Jungkook, leave. Not until I said leave. He froze at your sudden voice raised your heart clenched when you look at his shocked face you never felt like this never it's always something small which is not even a fight you just take jungkook i'm sorry no it's okay i was forcing you i'm sorry i should go jungkook wait but he laughed before she stopped him and yun burst out in tears why why would i have to fall for my best friend just why jungkook took a deep breath as he walked out of the house his phone rings again and he picked up why were you not picking up my calls i was busy where why did you call me? 
Can't I call my boyfriend? I didn't mean that. Do you have anything to say? I want to meet you. Somi, it's already late. Jungkook, uh, I'm waiting for you. So she got the call and Jungkook grunt. Somi, will you stop please? Why are you acting like I was the one desperate to ask you out? If you wanted to be my boyfriend, you need to listen. I'm done with the same topic, Somi. Why can't you move out? I need time, okay? I can just buy another apartment and leave everything. Then you can stay with me until you find your new apartment. Why are you making this a big deal? We literally living with each other for more than four years. But now you have a girlfriend. Don't trust me? No, I don't. Fine, then let it be. Jungkook, you can't leave me here like this. She tried to stop him, but he didn't stop. He's already thinking about you, and Somi is giving him a headache. After all, asking your crush to be a girlfriend was not a good idea. He should have just admired her from afar. I was walking tiredly into my class and someone grabbed my hand. We need to talk. I'm listening. You need to stay away from Jungkook. Why? You know he's my boyfriend. So? Well, listen to me carefully. Before he is your boyfriend, he is my best friend and I won't leave him alone no matter what. Then I will make sure he will kick you out because he loves me. Oh sure, we will see about that. I hate you. Same here. I roll my eyes and leave her there. I'm still afraid that their relationship would affect because of me. But I can't leave his side if she is being like this so I need to teach her a lesson too. And why should I stay away from my best friend? We are best friends and we can't break our friendship because of someone third. Yun walked towards the house and opened the door. With the keys, Jungkook didn't come with her. She fined him for a whole day. Even at university, she didn't get time to say sorry. Yun entered the apartment and stopped. Jungkook was sitting there using his mobile. She walked towards him and dropped herself on the sofa. Jungkook looked at her and then started using his mobile. He wanted to talk. He wanted to ask why, what made her behave like this, but he stayed quiet. Jungkook sighed and stared from the sofa. Yun looked at him. Jungkook put his jacket over his body and started wearing his shoes. Yun furrows her eyebrow. Where are you going? Jungkook didn't look at her and tied his shoes knots. At Jimin, they arrange a party. Again? Yeah. You want to come? No, I'm tired. Okay. Jungkook said not looking at her. Yun felt bad. If it was like normal days, he would drag her to her room and lock her in her bathroom with her clothes so she won't have any chance other than to go. Yun hesitantly walked towards him and grabbed his arm. Jungkook? Jungkook turns around and looks at her. Hmm? I'm sorry, Yun. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to raise my voice at you. I don't know what had gotten into me. I know something is bothering you. You are not sharing it with me. Jung. Both hands on her arms and look at her. From when did we start keeping secrets? We always share our problems. Then what changed now? I don't know. I'm afraid. Jungkook eyes soften and as tears start forming in her eyes. Afraid of what, Yun? That it will affect our friendship? That your relationship affect because of me? Yun, it won't. Trust me. It won't. But all I care about is you. I can't see you like this. You're not eating properly. Why? For what? Jungkook, please. Yun, you need to tell me, please. I decided to move out. Jungkook froze and Yun wiped her there. No, you are not. I am. You are joking, right? I am not. Yun, it's good for both of us, Jungkook. I don't want to be the reason for your fights. You decided everything on your own? Or what do you want me to do? You can't fight for me. Jungkook is best for us. So you wanna give up like this? Huh? I broke up with her because I just want you and you are giving up on me? And this time you're gonna stop her eyes wide and she look at his angry hard eyes. You broke up with her? So what do you want me to do, huh? Leave you? That's what I'm trying to tell you. You broke up with her because of me. You love her. Noon, are you dumb? I mean, I know you are dumb, but I didn't know you were that dumb. Huh? Yun is confused so much about what he is saying. Yun, I love you. Jungkook was looking for Yun. He didn't see her the whole time, so he just checking if she come or not. He stayed at Jimin's house after the fight with Somi. He didn't come. He didn't want to go home, but he stopped when he heard your voice. You know he's my boyfriend. So, girl, listen to me carefully. He is your boyfriend and he is my best friend. And I want... Leave him no matter what. Then I will make sure he will kick you out because he loves me. Oh sure, we will see about that. I hate you. Same here. Yun walked away. Jungkook looked at Somi and Yun disappeared from his side. He grabbed Somi and pulled her into the class. Jungkook, what do you think you are doing? Threatening my best friend, huh? I was threatening her. She should stay away from you. I think you should stay away from me. 
Really? Choosing your so-called best friend over your girlfriend? Yes, and I will choose her over everyone. You got that? I knew it. You both are more than best friends. Yes, you're right. We are, because I love you. He was. Oh, it felt so different. Sing it out loud, and he loved how that sound. Then why did you waste my time, huh? Why did you ask me out in the first place? Oh, you are not that innocent. I know what you are doing behind my back. Don't accuse me of something. I'm not accusing you. You know that, right? Don't try to cover up your shit. Oh, then let me tell you. Oh, then tell me who is Mark and what were you doing with her in the classroom? I no answer. I caught you red-handed now. I'm breaking up with you or cheating on me. And he left her there. He know from the start that she is cheating, but he was into thinking of you being distanced away from him. That was messing up his mind. He never had a crush on Sami. The thing he is catching feeling for you, so he decided his best to distract him because he knows that you don't see him like this. You only love him as a best friend. Not until he started dating Sami, he didn't feel anything towards her, and he saw the evident difference in your behavior. But today he lost it when he saw her threatening you. No, you don't. You are saying this because I want to move out. Jungkook slapped his forehead. How dumb she can be! He broke up with her girlfriend because he loves her, and she is acting dumb. Are you still stuck on that? I just confessed to you. You know how much courage it takes to confess, and you and you just Jungkook. I love you. I love you too. I know. You open her eyes and look at him. How do you know that? I may or may not have asked Jenny. You look at him with wide eyes. I know her. She won't open her mouth. He jungles close and presses his fingers together, feeling nervous. I may or may not have arranged her biggest date with Jack. You did what? Oh come on, Yoon, you were so behaving strangely and not telling me. I couldn't see you like this. Yoon, Jungkook, you are done for sure. Bribing my friend. Jungkook eyes wide and she raised her fist and he ran across the room. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. You better not or I will lock you in the school washroom for a whole week. I have gotten myself into.